meteorologist Shay Sorensen. Again, Shay, we're talking about the temperatures kind of bad, bouncing back and forth on us this week. Uh, yes, they've been kind of all over the place last couple of weeks. You know, last week we dropped into the uh, 50s for the warmest spots, uh, but this week that's changing. So if you like the warmer weather, get excited. 70s are sticking around today through the weekend, and we're really going to warm things up. Upper 70s possible this weekend. So if you have any outdoor plans, it's looking beautiful. Just a little warm for this time of year, pushing it almost 10 degrees above average. It's also going to be a little bit breezy from time to time from today through Saturday. Uh, each afternoon, the wind will pick up a little bit, but we're only looking at gusts around 10, 15 miles per hour, sometimes up to 25, but nothing major. And then as we head towards midweek next week, we're going to say goodbye to the 70s. Temperatures drop as the pattern changes, so I'll have more details coming up on that. Now for your current temps, if you're heading out the door, pretty mild thanks to a light breeze this morning. We're at 50 on the east side, 44 for davis monthan 47 for the airport, and 38 up in Oro Valley. So a little cooler compared to this time yesterday. You'll want the jacket as you head out the door, especially if you're waking up to the south and east. Right now we're at 26 in Tombstone, 27 in Pierce, 31 in Bisbee right now at the freezing mark in Wilcox, 24 in Duncan, and 17 for Hannigan Meadow. Out towards the west in Ajo, we are waking up to 52, 55 for again, Castle Graham. For your high temps today, we are going to warm things up into the 70s. Starting today, uh, average high is usually 68, so we're warming it up a little bit above normal thanks to high pressure kind of slowly building over the southwest. A lighter wind today compared to yesterday, but still a little bit of a breeze out there. Northeast wind at about 5 to 15 miles per hour. And then tonight temperatures will drop into the upper 30s and low 40s. So kind of right around where we are right now. And for our friends across Cochise County, 64 for Douglas with an overnight low of 31. 28 in Tombstone overnight tonight. 64 for the high in Benson though. And same thing for uh, Tombstone warming up into the low to mid 60s. Out towards the west, low 70s for Ajo and Cells. Mid 70s up in Phoenix. So really not a bad day up ahead. For your uh, wind gusts as we head towards 9 a.m. this morning, uh, right around 10 to 15 miles per hour, up to 25 up in Oracle, 14 miles per hour in Cells, 16 in Bisbee. For our friends in Douglas, just around 6 miles per hour. So a little bit of a breeze this morning, much calmer though by 3 p.m. this afternoon. And then it'll pick up again tomorrow morning around 10 a.m. And this is what I was talking about, just some breezes from time to time, gusts around 25 miles per hour, but that doesn't last too long. And then by 3 p.m. the wind will back off a little bit more. Now for your future pattern. This is today. High pressure is off the coast of California. That's what's going to help warm us up over the next several days into the upper 70s this weekend. It's going to get a little bit windy on Saturday. That's the only concern for the weekend, but temperatures will warm into the upper 70s. So at least we have warm temps instead of cold and wind. So at least we're getting rid of the colder temps. And then by next Tuesday and Wednesday, we have a system dropping out of the Pacific Northwest. That's going to change everything. That's going to help our temps drop back down to the 60s, a little bit below normal for this time of year, and also bringing us a little chance for some showers, maybe some high elevation snow. So this is a look at the long range models, the Euro and the GFS model through next Wednesday. Both are showing some chances for rain, the Euro model being a little more friendly this time around, but at least they're agreeing that we're going to see rainfall in almost every single spot. So we'll keep you updated as we get closer. Of course, that's over a week away, but really nice for the next seven days. Mid to upper 70s starting tomorrow, upper 70s on uh, this weekend. So really, really nice. The record, we're nowhere near it next Monday. That's the warmest day with a high of 78, but the record is 92 back in 1957. I don't know about you, but I'm happy we're not going to be that warm. And overnight lows will drop into the 40s. That's a check of weather. Now let's go ahead and take a look at traffic this morning. There is just one stalled vehicle on the road. This is on 6th Avenue at Irvington Road. Um, only thing that might slow you down this morning, but other than that, looking good all across the board. Thank you, Shay. From the Disney film top in the music charts to the movies getting attention for less appealing reasons, here's David Daniel with the Hollywood Minute. Lin-Manuel Miranda's Encanto hit We Don't Talk About Bruno is the first song from a Disney animated musical ever to hit number one on the Billboard Hot 100 for a second straight week. I think the fun of it is that's a very universal experience of in every family there's the things you can talk about at dinner and the things you talk about when this person's not around. Um, and so the, the notion of this thing we don't talk about but we, we're obsessed with talking about it <laughs> because it, we're not allowed to talk about it. Encanto is out now on 4K Ultra HD, Blu-ray, and DVD. Don't move! On your knees. Now! 
Another Bruno, Bruce Willis, was in eight movies last year. All low-budget action flicks with titles like Out of Death and American Siege. So the Razzie Awards, honoring the best of the worst in movies, created a special category, Worst Performance by Bruce Willis in a 2021 Movie. The dubious honor of most Razzie nominations this year goes to Netflix's Diana the Musical with nine, including Worst Picture, Worst Director, and nods in every acting category. The winners will be announced March 26th, the day before the Oscars. In Hollywood, I'm David Daniel. Thank you for that heads up. You are so good to me, Zach. Well, you can't put a price on true love. You can still wonder what everyone else is planning to spend on Valentine's Day. It turns out that Americans who are planning to celebrate the holiday will spend an average range of roughly $175 to $210 this year. According to a couple of recent surveys, the surveys also found that couples that have been together for less than two years spend at around $247 on Valentine's Day. And if you're looking for a reason to get outside today, how about fly a kite because it's National Kite Flying Day. Let's go fly a kite up to the highest height. Modern kites have come a long way from these simple original designs using bamboo and silk. You can still buy a diamond shaped kite or you can also get complicated box or stunt kites. 
kites. Just be careful not to fly one near power lines or in an electrical storm like Benjamin Franklin did. Love all the jokes there. All right, I got plenty more coming up here on Tuesday. Hey, good morning, Tanner and Shaylee. How are you guys? Investigating for you. This is Tucson Today. Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Destiny Quinn. And I'm Robbie Reynolds. We're going to start with another look at those temperatures once again changing on us, Shay. And yes. heating up. I'm excited. Yes, I know Destiny's excited. Robbie, I know you like the colder temps like <laughs> me, um, but 70s are nice. I can handle 70s. It's when we start to climb to the 80s and 90s when we're not supposed to. We're going to get plenty of that this summer, but let's focus on yesterday real quick and the wind. It was really windy at times yesterday. Our peak wind gust here in Tucson was 35, 25 miles per hour in Nogales and Sierra Vista and 29 in Casa Grande. Thankfully, the wind is much calmer this morning, but we will still be dealing with a little bit of a breeze from time to time. Right now, gusts are around 10 to